Hi guys, welcome back to World Mechanics. Today we are going to show you how to remove uh, the instrument cluster on a dot charger or dodge magnum. Stay with us to see how we are going to do that guys and don't forget to subscribe for one new video every day. First we need to pull that cover on the side right there. There is I think two clips holding in one on top and one on the bottom. So you need to grab and pull it, okay? And that's where the clips are. You can see them. Now right here we have one screw with a fuel screwdriver that you will need to remove and you need to have the steering wheel all the way uh, extended and in down position and after that there is another screw which is on the bottom uh, okay it is right there so there is only two screws holding that panel now that we need to remove first okay just go ahead and remove it with a fuel screwdriver and after that guys what you need to do you need to start pulling it okay you you come on this side and you grab and you pull there is a few clips holding it here and there so you just need to you need to pull okay and right there as well there is one on the bottom and now we need to disconnect the wire for the trunk release right here so you just need to pull that one out okay and that cover is gone now it's out of the way after that what we need to do we need to remove uh, there is two more screws right here on the bottom with a few screwdriver because we need to remove that trim around the instrument cluster and there is a third one underneath the ignition which is located right there as you can see it's a little bit dark hopefully you can see okay and what you need to do next you need to grab it but be careful not to break it you need to grab it with your fingers and you need to start pulling okay just just like that you can start it with the screwdriver a little bit if it's if it's too too tight and there is a few clips okay and that air vent as you can see ours is broken so we'll be replacing that one as well and uh, there is a few more clips there okay and the uh, the trim around the, the key comes out as well and now you can pull that trim out okay and now we need to remove the wire right here which there is a red connector that you need to pull to the back so after you guys remove the plastic on the bottom you need to get the steering wheel all the way to the back and down we have many repairs on that thing how to remove air back as well we were doing earlier so now with a few screwdriver okay there is a couple a couple of screws that we need to remove I think four of them that hold the cluster to the dash okay one of them is out we have one on this side here we have many videos guys with we did engine replacements and pretty much anything you can think of on Dodge Magnum Dodge Charger guys so feel free to check it out please subscribe help us grow that channel together guys let's make it big be part of it okay now we have two more right here one in this hole and one in the hole there as well okay you can see where it is now we also have a video if you install a replacement cluster how to program the mileage what kind of tool to use so we'll have a video coming soon as well feel free to check it out Okay, one there now, and uh, that should be that should be pretty much all, guys. Let's see now. Uh, we will need to remove the wires, of course. So we're going to go ahead and pull it now. Okay, you need to fold that piece right there, so it comes only in one angle, I think. And we'll see exactly which way it is okay so you know how to do it okay and we just realized that it won't be able to come out so we're going to go ahead and remove uh, these two screws on this side there is two more like that on the other side and that way we'll be able to slide that piece out of there I think and uh, we should be able to pull the cluster out and the video that we have guys for uh, programming mileage if yours is incorrect uh, you bought a new cluster and you have to input your mileage uh, 
use it only only for that purpose not to decrease your mileage because it's a big fine even even you can go to jail for that and i don't want to be buying a car that has more less miles than it should say okay and let's see now how it's going to come okay so if you flip it like that okay you can see this side a little bit out and now we have this side here still holding a little bit okay it came out be careful not to crack the dash now we have the wiring harness here guys okay so uh, it's right here let me get a good view okay right here so what you need to do you need to press down and pull it's two of them okay still working on this one one of them is stuck okay you need to press that piece okay came out and we have one more on the bottom there so three all together some have four depending on the model guys and what you got okay and we have the instrument cluster out of here as you can see so that's how you guys remove it uh, you install it exactly the same way guys reverse order we have the video how to program the mileage if you're buying a replacement one so uh, thank you guys for watching please subscribe let's grow that channel together thank you for the support and see you next time